have Jennifer here today because she often will book things that we both audition for. No. It's so true. It's so true. One of the things we both auditioned for was Ring Central back in like late summer, early fall of 2021. I thought it would be fun to look at our auditions, look at the final product, and then just see who they ended up casting. And the funny thing is about this specifically is that I didn't even think of this, but for this audition, I actually filmed a YouTube video where I got acting coaching for this specific video by yeah. Timothy Hulse. Do you know Timothy yeah. Hulse? Yeah, good. Even more of a sm It's coming through. You don't want the smile to be coming through, but it's coming through. One of the things I struggled with and still struggle with is deadpan acting. Specifically, like, there's a lot of that. Mm -hmm. And you will see. I looked at part of my audition because I was trying to find it and I was like, I know why they didn't cast oh, me. no. Because they didn't want the commercial to be angry. <laughs> so mine is a little angry too. Like, oh, mine okay? feels mean, but... So we'll, you'll see in yeah. a minute, but um, yeah, that was like, the direction was deadpan, improv. I struggle with that too. I'm such a physical comedy person, like very reactionary. A lot of my commercials you'll see like, or, or my face like, mm, okay. Yeah. So deadpan to me is like, it's yeah. so mean. Okay, yeah. I'm excited to see. Well, I want to see this now. <laughs> so the description for this, it was by Kristen Beck Casting in the Bay Area. Shout out, because I audition yes. for them all the time. Yes, YouTube, love them. Right? Yes. I, I wonder if I've ever even been cast in anything. Maybe like two or three times. But I feel like I've auditioned to, with them a hundred times. But times. that's good though, right? If they keep calling you back, that means they're trying to find something for you. Yeah. That's the good... That's like the one piece of feedback we get to hear as you send your tapes out into the void. It's like they keep calling you in, they believe in you, and they're yeah. like, we're going to get up. you something. And Yeah, yeah. Same with Aura Casting is mm -hmm. another one I audition. And Taylor. Bobano. Taylor, we love Taylor. <laughs> okay, so the description for this one, her name is Erin, female 30s. African-American, Latinx, Indian, or Pakistani. That's the description of it. Did you get any kind of help to prepare for this audition? I did not. Okay. I watched a couple clips of Parks and Rec for Opry Praza and Nick Offerman. I was like, deadpan, oh my God. And then uh, Martin Starr on Silicon Valley. Yeah. Because like, they are legends of deadpan. I'm just like, oh. We're gonna watch our auditions. Mine is up first, because I thought mine's gonna, mine's definitely gonna be the worst one. I mean, no, obviously you got cast, see. but we have the remote right here. So we'll each pause I'm whenever excited. we have some kind of uh, note on it. So let's see, I'm excited. <laughs> okay, oh my God, look at me. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Hi, my name is Belgica Rodriguez. I'm in San Jose, 510, and I'm auditioning for Aaron. Okay, hair flex. <laughs> it's like my hair's long. Oh, that oh, picture's nice. kind of blurry, but okay. But that's a good one. I'm. We'll see mine. <laughs> okay. There's my full body. Hey, it's nighttime here. No pressure or anything. Just something totally impossible. I look so absolutely <laughs> it's angry. It's giving Kourtney Kardashian right now. It's just like, why did you invite me here? I love it though. It's just like, it looks so incredibly angry. And this is a commercial. And mm -hmm. in pretty much every single commercial ever, the energy is bright and high because they want you to be like, oh, if I get this, it's going to solve my problems and I'm going to be so happy. Yeah. You know, so you don't want somebody scolding <laughs> That's you. That's so mean. I know. It's so bad. Something totally. Oh, no. Cool. We can do jello shots and play volleyball. I'm getting a real serial killer vibe on this one. Ugh, gross. Does it have plumbing? Is Why that a hair plumbing? Right. Like, who are you? Oh. Your wedding venue. Yeah, that was beautiful. <laughs> She's like, wow, I hated that your wedding. Nice. I wasn't invited. And, like, For a I birthday party. party. I love it. That's the one. Okay. This is running long. I need to finish the meeting in the car. You really think people are going to go dancing? Who? Who goes to a product launch and thinks, oh, I can't wait to start dancing and to the Cupid shuffle. 
Hi, we have a delivery scheduled for later and the address has changed. Yep, we need it all rerouted. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god! <laughs> yep, like, yep, that's what I just told you, person on the phone. <laughs> that is hilarious. I can see that I've tried to do deadpan, like, in certain moments. I'm like, okay, that's almost there. But for the most part, it just reads as somebody who's just so angry, mm. hates everything, gives a little bit of sarcasm. Seeing that, if I was a casting director or associate, I would book you for like angry homecoming queen or like bridezilla <laughs> like i would love to yeah. play bridezilla like that was absolutely like sure i love this venue let's get white tablecloths while we're at it <laughs> that was my audition oh my and okay i just i wish i could do it again <laughs> In the actual final product, was there mm -hmm. anybody who was deadpan? No. So okay. I was going to say, I was going to mention that like after we watched these that I think they realized maybe from everyone's tapes that like, this is mean oh. this is because I, you'll see, you'll see in the final product. So this is what's fun. Like you're going to see her tape, you're going to see my tape and you're going to see like what actually made it to yeah. your screens. In retrospect, if I knew that, you know, they might change their mind from for the direction of this commercial, I would have sent in one like mm -hmm. I tried. And then one more friendly and understanding and warm because that's usually what these tech commercials are like. Because yeah. this is some kind of tech that people can buy for their um, their companies. Let's watch your audition. I will preface mine by saying, like I said, <laughs> I only I haven't watched this whole thing in forever, so I'm sorry, you guys. But it it for me for my brand of of comedy it feels so mean. Adage that everybody tells actors like all of your coaches will say like don't do what you think they want, mm. do it the way you're going to do it. So I did it in my way. So mine is more sarcastic. Like, mm. guys, I'm tired. She's supposed to be jet lagged. She's supposed to be like, right. um, I think like on the day they're like, oh, she's video facing like you guys from the Philippines. Oh, yeah. Like, it was like, back in America. So mm -hmm. it was like a time difference. And so she's tired. And so I took that and was just like, oh. I'm just going to go more sarcastic and not like warm and bubbly and like, okay. Oops. All right, here we go. Jennifer McNeil. Five six reading for Aaron. Can you tell I don't have room to move around? <laughs> oh. So it's like I'm like packed in. Oh, here we go. Yes, okay. Hey. It's nighttime here. Oh. Yeah, no problem. I mean just completely impossible, so <laughs> yay. Yours is already so much better, <laughs> even though it is like pretty, like not, not what angry, they asked for. <laughs> not angry, but but like not mm -hmm. super friendly. You know, you're mm -hmm. just like this is more of like theatrical acting versus commercial acting, where it's mm -hmm. like so bubbly and and bright. But your acting is just so believable. Aww. You know, that's why I was like, oh, okay, I see. Even <laughs> though you said make it your own, make it your own. like. So it's just good. like sarcasm. Just like. Mm, Okay. But like I just played on that she's tired. Mm -hmm. Like we were tired and you don't even bother. Like just make a decision. Like how hard can it be to pick uh, a venue, you guys? And obviously, yeah. Like your objective for this group was to get off the call. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. No. <laughs> Hate the carpet. No. Cool wallpaper though, but that carpet is atrocious. No. Stairs not accessible. Really, guys, inconsiderate. Come on. Okay, this is something, and I never want to see it again. <laughs> Guys, look at this one. We can play beach volleyball in the- Wait, did you improv a bunch yeah. of these lines? Yeah, like oh, they told cool. me to improv. I did not have a script. They were just like, one has no bathroom, and I think that was it, because I think we both say that oh. there's no bathroom in one, but like I just was straight up improv so. Oh. I, I don't remember that. I'll have to look back at my other video where I was getting coaching, but I thought I had the lines. Because what Timothy was doing was he was feeding me the lines of the other people on the Zoom call. Yeah. Let's do it. I mean, we want to be on the news, right? <laughs> yeah. Live big. No. That's not... Okay, that's a parking garage. Interesting concept. Not for this. Not for this. No. Guys, we cannot have a launch with thousands of attendees and have no bathroom. <gasps> wow, 
Some of you live alone and it shows. <laughs> I don't know, but it's a bird. Sick bird, bro. Um, do you really think that people are gonna want to come here and dance? Like, when have you ever been at a launch and like, ooh, dance floor? <laughs> Let me get to shaking. Never, and you never will. Ooh. Okay. Wait. This one, I don't hate. I don't hate it. We'll put it in the maybe. Put it in the maybe. Stop. That's it. I love that. I love this. This is nice. Look at that. The lighting. Right. Yeah. Yeah, this is it. This is the one. Let's book that. Yep, let's get that. Yep, nope, it's fine. Book it. Does it have a bathroom? Does it have a ramp? Okay, boom. Park it. Yes. Book it. Love it. Live there, breathe there, stay there. Let's get it. Okay, guys, this is running long, and it's, again, it's nighttime here, so I'm going to finish this meeting in my car, okay? So, hang on. I'll be back. There's oh, and then here's the phone part. Hi, um, yeah, we um, have a, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> we have a delivery schedule. Wait, leave your mistakes in. I was going to Leave them in, they're great. I always mess up on stuff and I'm like, and then like on, on the times I like stop it and then I like play it, I'm like, what was I doing? It was on a roll. Yeah. Take a breath, keep I going. I was going to say that was really good and you left it in. And it makes it to the final cut, spoiler alert. Oh, oh. Look at that. She stole I'm getting a, a little bit. I'm getting a lesson. I thought I was just inviting a friend over to laugh at ourselves from years ago. Well, mostly laugh at we're, me. No, we're laughing at ourselves. This is this is hilarious. In the commercial auditions that you get where they ask you a question like, tell me about your favorite vacation or whatever, if I mess up in those, I leave mm -hmm. it in. Yeah. Because I'm like, oh, they just want to see what I'm like, what I talk like. You know, it's more natural if I just leave it in versus having to say it again and like, mm -hmm. okay, make sure you're saying it right, robotic. Yeah. But um, I really like it. Yeah. You are a really good actor. So oh. that stuff works when you work, you know, like yeah. when you're showing your personality mm -hmm. and your talented also. So dang, dang. Okay. She talks like making an she's own. not an epic talent. I oh, mean, well, you got it. Hello. You're on her channel. You know, you know. Okay. Then play your audition. Now. Sally Humbleton over here. Scheduled later. And uh, the address has changed. Yep. Yeah. Reroute. Yep, whole order. Yeah. Yeah, I can hold. Thank you. Okay, wait, pause. I will say, I feel like I'm channeling now. I used to be a supervisor in college, so I know how to direct things. And then mm -hmm. I also have a bachelor's degree in motion graphic design and was a freelance motion graphic designer for a long time. So I know about being a project lead and saying, mm -hmm. this needs to be executed. Why it wasn't in here? This needs to be here at the same time. You know, file hard drives need to be where they need to be. Yeah. And I shouldn't have to say that again. So get it. Take what you know. And yes. Apply. I'm learning so much. This is like a master class. <laughs> oh yes. Oh, that was, no, that was it. That was all your audition. And then here is the final product. So there's there's like a three minute one and like a 50 second one or something. Mm -hmm. And easily communicate with whomever they need to, however they need to. Which draws people to the stage. And the dance floor. No one dances at a product launch. I'll be dancing. Hey, I gotta run to the airport. I'm gonna switch to my phone. Even when they're working across multiple time zones, it always felt as if they were there together. Hey, sorry I'm late. With all the curveballs that we face at work. Hi, we need to update the delivery address. The one thing Jamie's team doesn't have to worry about is how they're going to bring all the right people together. And when everyone can connect seamlessly, anything is possible. I would dance at a product launch just for the record. I mean, me too. <laughs> okay, so this is the longer version. Oh my gosh. So are there more characters in this one? No, it's just the four of us. So that's basically it. I mean the first one? Yeah. You get just get to see what everybody else is doing. But mm -hmm. it you can see that it was scaled down mm -hmm. um a lot. Like the character, like I didn't like write two minutes of improv in yourself tape and it got cut to like Yeah, a few you know maybe uh, you guys each had like 10 15 seconds yeah we mm. all were like mm -mm, on something and then that was it this was back in 2021 everybody was super nice but we didn't get to hang out none of um, the actors until we took that picture and it was like okay separate you oh know it was gosh. like hold your breath smile do this little scene yeah. and that was it so like everybody was so separate um but you know i got to meet hair and makeup uh tara shout out tara we've worked on like three commercials now and oh, she yay. always has me looking fabulous do you think we should watch the long version oh uh, we can let's see okay let's see what everybody else got Pulled it off in four days, you guys. 
<laughs> Launch for, day. for a second, I was like, Woo. wait, you, you filmed this commercial in four days? No, it was all in one day. It was a very long day. So that was our auditions. Those were our auditions. So yeah, definitely what they were looking for, what they thought they were looking for in the casting call versus final product, mm-hmm. completely different. Yeah. I didn't see any deadpan in there. Mm-mm. No. So I'm curious to know yeah. what happened. Probably just everybody's tapes were just like, oh, God, this is too yeah. mean. Yeah. Um, yeah, the client probably saw all of them and were like, uh, can we ask for another set of self-tapes? <laughs> and casting was probably like, no. no. Who do you like? Look at their reels. Thoughts? It came out nice. I love, I yeah. like that it was nicer. Yeah. I don't think anybody said anything about the deadpanness. Even I think side. I just showed up and did that. Oh. And nobody said no, so... Oh, here we go. I don't think it was like outwardly. What kind of direction did you get on set? I don't know. Nothing. You just, because a lot of directors, what they will do, they'll just want to see what you Mm -hmm. have. And then if they like it, won't tell you much. And if they want it differently, then they'll be like, hey, how about we try it like this this time? And then they'll be like, okay, we like that. Keep going with that. I don't remember. It was directed by Ty Barty. Hey, Ty. Yeah, so I, I just thought this would be fun to do like ourselves, but even more fun to be able to share it with you guys because I've done this before where I show you my self-tape versus who got booked. So yeah, let me know if you want us to do this in the future because we've auditioned for so many things. Yeah. We were rep by the same agency and often um, commercials will be like, I don't know, we want somebody of color. Mm-hmm. We are people of color. Yeah. And if you want to hire us for your commercials, independent work, whatever, you can contact Rosie at MDT for the Francisco Bay Area, or you can contact us directly and you can watch our reels right here. Yeah. Thanks, you guys. (laughs) (laughs) Yes.